Working in, in that area of science was always going to be a direction the school was going to be taking. We looked at Prime Zone as a resource that would enhance that, what we were going to do. And it's done exactly that. It's, it's more than enhanced it and it's been a, a wonderful asset and enabled the school to do things that we probably wouldn't have been able to do. It's been a whole school approach and our whole staff have been involved in the program right from the start. Our teachers have worked very collaboratively and have worked hard to make sure that their primary industries is a feature in all of their programs. We've managed to incorporate food and fibre education right across the curriculum. For a non-agricultural school it's really important because there is so much scope for them to learn new things. It ties in beautifully with my science because it's all about innovation as well. Should we plant some of these so then we could have more? Well, we could keep some of our seeds for next year's crop. Teaching the children how people apply science in their everyday lives. In chemical science, we've, the children have looked at dairy, the younger children have looked at the production of wheat, that we've made bread, we've made butter, we've made ice cream. They're learning how potatoes grow, how beetroot grows, and they have absolutely loved it. They really have. They go home and they talk about it to their parents. They're all into growing things, and it just links beautifully across the curriculum. One of the great things about this Prime Zone program is that the kids are really hands-on. They're growing the seeds from start to finish and then they get to see the end product. Oh, I just think it's fantastic because it's, it's real life experience. I think our kids have a lot of YouTube time and see a lot of videos, but to actually get your hands dirty is a whole new experience. A lot of the kids around here are on subdivided blocks and really just have a paved courtyard for a backyard. So the school provides that opportunity for them to actually understand what agriculture is about, what growing things is about. The Prime Zone resources are amazing. They just have so much application to all the learning areas. You know, whether you're doing history or geography or maths, weighing, stretching, mapping, graphing, they are very good. When one of the year two classrooms that I was in they were doing farming and different types of farms. I was able to use the children's social studies books to supplement my health activity. Okay, I see you've been doing the dairy farm. Who can tell me what happens on a dairy farm? And now let's look at the milk. Where does the milk go? The factory. So they just married together beautifully. Then in year five, six, I take design and technology and the children had to design new containers for a dairy product. So once again, they had to research dairy Lesson plans are um, detailed down to you know, the exact questions um, you could use to engage students in discussions. Lots of online videos and clips from different farmers and different agricultural production areas around Australia. Really, really helpful, yeah, and very engaging. The kids learn a lot from it. Well, you can see the change in the kids of actually when we look at their food, they can actually tell us where it, where it comes from now. And not just food, but they're all quite clear about, you know, where their clothes were made and they can um, find exactly where their books were even printed. And so they have a much larger interest now in where things come from, all the things that they use, if they're local, if they are foreign, and it's just great to see their enthusiasm. We've had a really fabulous year and we don't intend it to stop. There's a real buzz in our school and the children are so incredibly engaged. We're not a country school, but it's very, very relevant to our students. It's something really new to them and there's a lot for them to learn.